Hey map fans, recently I've had a bit of a problem with ArcGIS and the way that it renders dashed lines, particularly on polygons, um, also on line files as well, uh, but it was polygons that I was dealing with. So first of all we're going to take a regular polygon, uh, just a square here, and I am going to show you how to turn on the dashed lines and the way that I did it to begin with. So if I double click on the symbol, opens up our symbol selector, and I'm going to put the fill as to no colour. I'm going to bump up the outline to 0.2 and then I'm going to change it to red. Now from this point I want to make it into... Whew, there's a lot of noise going on outside. Sorry if you can hear that. But I want to edit this symbol and I want to make it into a dashed outline for my polygon. So I'm going to edit the symbol and then go to the outline comes up with the normal line options but I'm going to edit that symbol as well and here we've got a style we can choose solid, dashed, dotted, dash dot, whatever we want so I'm going to go with dashed and you can see up there in the preview it shows you what it's going to look like so I'm going to OK that and we've got a lot of windows to OK out of here and there's my dashed line now the thing with this dashed line is that it doesn't really respects what you're doing. If I zoom out you can see the dashes change, if I zoom in the dashes change again and again. This gets even weirder when you go into the layout view. So here I am in the layout view fully zoomed in. I'll just uh, zoom out to that. Not fully zoomed in at the moment. I've got a little legend up here and if I zoom out you can see how the dashes are changing again. Note that I'm just zooming in and out on the layout here, not on the actual um, data. And if I zoom right in, the dashes actually vanish and our legend looks a little bit untoward. That's not the legend I was hoping for. I wanted a dashed legend. So let's just export this quickly and see what it looks like. I'm going to export it to PDF. Yes, I'll replace that. And then let's open it up. demo dashed lines open up the PDF and this is what our PDF looks like now that legend symbol to me is not very obvious you know if I had something else with a solid border of a red line you might not know what it is and put simply it behaves a little erratically we don't really know what we're going to get when we're outputting these dashed lines so I'll show you how you can get around that and to do that we're going to use something called cartographic symbology. So if we go to our view and we go to our data view I have another polygon which looks very similar to the first and we're going to change the symbology of this one so that Arc will respect you know WYSIWYG. What we see is actually what we get. So if I double click on this one open up the symbol, I'm going to make it hollow again. Um, I'm just going to leave these as is for now because we're going to change this cartographically. And I'll go in, edit the symbol once again and then I'm going to choose to edit the outline and go into edit symbol again. And then up at the top here, instead of choosing the style down here, I'm going to go up to the top and select a different type. I'm going to go with a cartographic line style and then we get to change how thick it is so I'm going to make it 2 again and I'm going to make it red and then we have this tab called template now if I click on the template tab I can choose how I want my dashed line to appear so I'm going to move this marker up here and then each bit of this as I fill it in you can see in the preview what it's going to look like I'm going to fill it in like that there we go now we've got a dashed line here or a solid line here and a dash here and that will repeat ad infinitum. If I was to move this up here it would make the solid line a third smaller than the space and up here a quarter smaller than the space. So you can see how you can move that around uh, you can change the length or the uh, frequency of your dashes that's a pretty solid dash. I'm just going to go for the equal one there so equal spacing of solid line and spaces and I'm going to OK that. OK through all of these boxes and there's our dashed line. Now it's not hugely different 
but if I go to my layout view, you can see now that the legend where I'm zoomed in, our previous dashed line is solid, the legend solid, but with our cartographic symbology up here, it doesn't change. So when we zoom in and zoom out, we actually know where our dashes are going to be. And the same is true when we export it to a PDF, we actually get much more predictable behavior. So I'll export that and then let's open up our dashed line again. And there it is. So again, our legend respects what we've done and our dashes are respected as well. So if you are having difficulty with dashed lines and it's behaving erratically, get on to using cartographic symbology and that should help you out. So if you like this video, as always, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to get more and frequent updates and tips, tricks, all the rest of it. Thanks a lot for watching. Happy mapping.